Hello again, this is Ron. Welcome to tutorial number nine for the Foundation Theory course. And we're going to be discussing antennas, just the antennas you need to know and how much you need to know for your Foundation assessment and no more. For your Foundation, you need to be able to identify some different antenna types. The antenna you're looking at on the slide is a vertical antenna with ground planes. This is the radiator, this is the part of the antenna that transmits the signal and these three called radials are effectively a ground plane or an earth underneath the vertical antenna. When you get asked questions in your assessment about antennas, don't go into what frequency band they're on. Don't go into things like their gain or impedance or anything like that. All you need to do for the foundation license is identify this antenna as a vertical antenna with a ground plane. That's it. That's actually a VHF antenna, I can tell by the size of the pipe, but don't you go there. All you need to do is identify that antenna as a ground, vertical ground plane antenna. The next antenna is a centre fed antenna. I'll talk a little bit to you about this one, but all you need to be able to do when you see an antenna like this is say that it's a centre fed antenna. You don't have to say it's a dipole because you may not know it's a dipole. Uh, it could be that these lengths are not quarter wave lengths, they could be any length. So as far as you're concerned this is just a centre fed antenna. The transmission line feeding this antenna is parallel line or balanced line. I chose a picture rather than a photograph because I think it's easier to see in a, in a pictorial diagram what a centre fed antenna is. If the transmission line came to the end instead of the centre then it would be an end fed antenna. The antenna on this slide is a dipole. A dipole is a centre fed antenna, but the difference between a dipole and a folded dipole, which is what this is, a folded dipole is actually two dipoles. There's one dipole here, and there's one dipole here, and they're joined together at the ends. And for that reason, this antenna is called a folded dipole. It's not a dipole which is folded in half. It's two dipoles in parallel joined at the ends. However, for your assessment, the only thing you have to do is identify that diagram as a folded dipole. This antenna is actually a number of dipoles in parallel. That's not what the antenna is called. But that's a centre fed dipole, that's a centre fed dipole, that's a centre fed dipole, and that's a centre fed dipole. And they're all on the one boom and they're all in parallel with each other. And that is called a Yagi. A Yagi is just a number of dipoles working in parallel with each other. The only thing you need to know about this antenna is its identification and its identification is good enough to just call it a Yagi antenna. You don't have to specify what bands it's on, whether it's got traps, what its impedance is, how many elements it's got. Don't go there. Just give the assessor what he needs to know and he needs you, he needs to know that you know that this is a Yagi antenna. It's a directional antenna, it has a fair bit of gain depending on how many elements. Very popular on amateur bands. Your job, just identify it as a Yagi antenna.
And the last antenna you need to know about is an N-fed antenna. Now I've drawn it uh, as a diagram rather than a photograph because it's a little bit easier to see in a photograph. This is the amateur transmitter through the window there. He's got an earth going into the ground and he's got a piece of wire coming up to a pole and down to another pole. So that's just one piece of wire. That is called an N-fed antenna. You don't have to know how long this piece of wire is. There is no transmission line. In this case, the wire goes all the way to the antenna, goes all the way to the back of the transmitter, and the back of the transmitter is grounded. That is an end fed antenna, and you just need to identify it as that end fed antenna. Because it's connected to the transmission line, uh, well, there's no transmission line in this case, it's connected to the transmitter. But an end fed antenna could have a transmission line. So if the antenna is fed from one end and it's a piece of wire, it's called an end fed antenna. That's it for antenna identification for the foundation theory. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, tutorial. I'll catch you in the next one. I hope your course goes well. Cheers for now. This is Ron VK2DQ.